what makes this entire situation so unique. You've got so much to contend with and so much to think about. Your father's not well. There's a possibility that you may find yourself unwell and your child may become unwell. Yeah. That is, that's a lot to carry around for, for both of you. Yeah. I've been battling for ages whether or not to be tested. If I'm negative, I'm wasting so much time, so much positive time. And he is, he is, at, he is my world. He is just everything. Mm -hmm. While DNA may be able to answer questions from our past, it can also predict our future. And medical advances mean that doctors are now finding ways to spot mistakes in our genetic code, opening up the potential to do what was previously impossible, like detecting fatal diseases. I met Rob, <laughs> met him on a dating app. He properly courted me. And to be fair, I kind of fell in love with the little bit of chest hair that was there. Go, Kim, go! She, she's the best person I've ever met, to be honest. We got serious quite quickly, um, decided that we were going to try and have a baby. Then we were blessed with Kian a few months later. Everything was just perfect. It was just sheer bliss, and I felt like we were just totally untouchable. And then the bubble just burst. My dad found out that he had Huntington's disease. I think that's the moment where everything kind of just stopped. Two years ago, Charlie's dad was diagnosed with Huntington's, a fatal disease. Passed from parent to child through their DNA, there is currently no cure for the 8,000 people in the UK living with the condition. It was only until he told us about Huntington's, his diagnosis, that I started researching it more. As I kept getting more information about Huntington's disease, I found out that I've got a 50-50 chance of inheriting the disease from my dad, which means that if I've got it, Kian then has a chance of inheriting the same disease. Ever since her dad's diagnosis, Charlie has been in limbo, trying to decide if she should take the DNA test herself. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> you didn't do that. Shit. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Shit. No! <laughs> Good. 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 You all right? Hello, Poppy. Hey. Hello, mate. Hey. I'm Stacey. Right. How do you do? Hey, Hello, you. mate. You can't oh, he's like you, too. isn't he? <laughs> so how long have you two been together? Just two years. You got your little boy now. Didn't think he would come as quick as he did, to be fair, but yeah. The most beautiful surprise. <laughs> it is, yeah. Um, so your father, he now has Huntington's disease which means there's a 50% chance that yeah. you may have it. So my dad is kind of in this fortunate position at the moment where they've positively identified that he's got the gene, but he's not symptomatic yet. If you do have the gene, there's a 50% chance that your boy yeah. has the gene. I can always describe it as just, it's just a cloud, really. Like, you have your days, like Rob will say, I'll have my days where I'm totally like, Kian done this today, it's absolutely amazing. And that's, if I'm being totally honest, is I just get scared if we are the, one of the unlucky ones. What makes this entire situation so unique? You've got so much to contend with and so much to think about. Your father's not well. There's a possibility you may find yourself unwell and your child may become unwell. 
Yeah. That is, that's a lot to carry around for, for both of you. Yeah. I've been battling for ages whether or not to be tested. If I'm negative, I'm wasting so much time, so much positive time. And he is, he is, at, he is my world. He is just everything. Mm -hmm. So sat here now, in your heart of hearts, do you, you want the test? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I think you just feel a bit of a moral obligation to find out for your children. How are you doing, Rob? I'm doing fine. Like, right. it's not something we want, but it's nothing we can change, so... Um, but like, like I said to Charlie, you've just got to enjoy what you've got while you've got it. It's just knowing, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. I'd feel a massive weight being lifted if I was if I was negative. Well, if you're negative, Kian says. Kian doesn't have it. Kian's negative. So the next few weeks, next few months are really crucial. Yeah. Yeah. Life changing, either way. Yeah. Charlie will now start meeting with doctors in the lead up to the DNA test that will reveal if she carries the mutated gene. You're such a good boy. <laughs> good as gold. <laughs> I've asked if we can catch up again when she has her final results. But before Charlie is tested, NHS specialists want to prepare her and Rob for what the results might mean for their family. Hiya. Rob, are you aware how it's passed on in the family or even how likely it is it maybe Charlotte's got the genetic uh, alteration. Well, I would guess it was 50 50. It's a genetic alteration, a change, a spelling mistake, if you like, in uh, a gene. Genes are the instructions which build and maintain our bodies. When we think about Huntington's disease, we, we think of three kind of main symptoms that people get. So the one which most people kind of recognise is the movement problems which you can get with it. The second kind of big symptom group is problems with mood. And the third kind of main one is dementia or memory kind of problems. Unfortunately, as you already know, there's no cure for it, um, which is one of the reasons why we have these very deep conversations uh, about the process of going through testing for it. And you can pull out of this process at any point until the point that we're actually telling you your result, you can pull out. Yeah. Okay. But a lot of people um, are very keen to take part in research and things because it's, it's one positive aspect of something that you can't really control. Like my dad's very much like, go for trials, because the way he kind of copes with it is by doing that, he's helping me and he's helping Kia and having those consultations of what you could be doing now could mean that when Kia is older, there could be a cure, is something quite comforting. Mm. You've talked a lot about Kian and your son. Is that the main reason for being tested? Kian is, is one of the main reasons. The only thing I would love to be able to do is go, can you just tell me so I can plan? Because I feel like I deserve to know as his mum. That, I think that's what's important for me. Charlie will now be tested for Huntington's, but taking this step isn't for everyone. About 80% of people in her position choose not to be tested while they have no symptoms. Most would prefer not to know the truth. 